the third folder of the 3D object to the library is called staircase and the folder contains two very useful objects. The first is called Spiral Staircase and it's a, a very complex and robust staircase solution. So we will start with a more simpler straight staircase object that's here. It's an older object I made several years ago, nevertheless I improved the setup a bit. And it was added into the Cinema 4D R16 library, why not? It's a pretty useful rig. So just load the object. And so the object and we can unfold its hierarchy. It uses a clause object. The object generates the object's thickness. And here is the crucial MoGraph clone object as it was properly expected. Let's say we have an interior scene and we need to connect the ground with the first floor such as this example shows. How to do that? Use the staircase rig I prepared of course. So the staircase rig and activate the snapping here. Use the edge snap and I will activate the midpoint snap for instance. Ok, the object is selected. I will move it here and to the upper edge of the floor. I will rotate it and check the interior floor height. The first floor level is 119. The ground floor is 0. It means the staircase head should be also 219 of course. Ok, set the staircase again. Go to the main settings group and we will change the height here. Don't change the width, it's 500. It's a default value of the rig. So set the height to minus 290. Done. I have to fix the object rotation. Ok. The rig has a perfect height, however it looks wrong a bit. So check the risers here. It goes inside the wall. And on the other hand, the first step on the ground is placed wrong as well. It needs to be fixed of course. Ok, no worries, select the staircase and go to the detail step and activate the step up trigger here. It will align the last step with the first floor. Go back to the main settings and we can replace the last right riser by the first left. So, turn off the trigger. Done. The staircase looks perfectly. It works really well. Just imagine we need to adjust the object width or we can call it a total length for instance. So let's play with the value. Play with the total height value as well. We have seen uh, that the value can be positive or negative. It doesn't matter. And here is the steps count value. It controls how many steps the generator staircase will have. Done. The step width is the last value of the object's main settings group. Let's say we would like to get a bit different look of the staircase. It uh, should be a very modern staircase with natural woody steps, with risers and metal laser cutted thin sides. So the first change that we have to do is turn off the risers trigger here. It will generate a very simple staircase. Ok, adjust the step thickness by this value and we can adjust the step width of the setup. Let's say it should be 119, for example. Ok, as you said before, we have to do two thin sides of the staircase. So let's create a new copy of the object and adjust it accordingly to the look we would like to achieve. Set the step width to 0 0.5, activate the risers option again and increase the thickness. Then go to the top view and we have to move the object. Select the original staircase, press the Alt key and create a new null object and place the second object as a child of the null as well and adjust its position. It should be minus 59.75. OK. Create a new copy of the object and, or use an instance of it and change the copy position, set it to plus 59.75. That's all. We got totally different look of the object and it looks really nice. Let's start of the next modeling process. Just use a new feature, a new object of Cinema 4D R16, the bell deformer. 
Set the main staircase object, press the Alt key again and create a new null object. It's placed as a parent object of the former selected object. Set the staircase, press the Alt and create a new connect object. It's placed as a parent object of the rig as usual. And select the null, press the Shift and create a new bevel deformer. Okay, select the bevel and adjust the offset, increase the subdivision level and so on. And we got a very nice looking effect. And we can do the same at size as well. Just convert these objects, use some selections and finalize the object look. Okay, it's the staircase module object. It isn't complex, but still very useful rig. Here the last we have to show is the object info panel. Almost everybody has an experience with an all staircases and castles medieval houses and these constructions made the movement very uncomfortable and unsafe. Simply, they are very strange and we don't usually feel safe, especially if we are going downstairs. The reason is, the staircase doesn't have a correct size and ratio between its step width and height. So there is used a simple formula that result can inform you if is the object designed well or not. Derek uses the same formula, of course. Uh, the control value we got has to stay around 63. Just let's say it can vary from 62 to 65. In case your own design staircase will fit the range, you can expect it, it should work well in real life as well. Otherwise, it will be uncomfortable or even dangerous. So the current width is 27.25 and the height is 18.125 and the control is 63.5. That's correct and the staircase should work well. It's really enough about the staircase object. Let's continue to the next chapter of the series because the spiral staircase is one of the most powerful rigs I ever made.